Hey, it's Jamie here from 3D Scan Store again, and in the third part of this tutorial, I want to show you a way of blending and mixing these um, Scan Store displacement maps together on your mesh once you've either sculpted or wrapped it. So we're going to use the same one we're using this male zero one, and I'm going to try and sort of blend them with this guy here, male zero nine. And um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply our first displacement map. So just turn it on. Oh, needs a texture. New texture. Displacement map 0 0.03, and we're going to make a layer just to keep that displacement on a layer. We'll just call that layer male 01. And then we'll just apply that displacement map. Okay, so there we have it. And now what we want to do is we want to be able to maybe change some of these details, mix them with another character to create a different sort of skin surface kind of profile almost. Um, so we will load in another displacement map. So import displacement and we'll use male09. Import his displacement. And just flip that. And now we're going to make, we're going to turn that layer off for a start. And we'll make a new layer. And we'll call that male09. And this guy's a bit older, um, so we'll get some more sort of wrinkly kind of stuff going on. And we will choose his displacement. And you can see this guy's got much more sort of haggard skin, and you can see it's a bit more sort of. Um, a bit more intense, so we'll maybe drop this down a bit to 0 0.002. No, it's too low, 0 0.00. Let's just keep it on three, and because it's on a layer, we can adjust that. So, displacement, apply displacement. Okay, so I mean, that's quite intense. So, in the layer settings here, we'll just adjust that to where we want it. Where it looks good, so gonna 0 0.7. Let's try that. Yeah, so that looks quite good. So you see, we're getting all this nice sort of older kind of skin details here. Now, in order to combine these, it's quite simple. So all we want to do with this really is store this as a morph target. So we'll just store a new morph target, and we'll switch that layer off switch on our original layer and then now what we want to do is make a new layer so we can put this um, blend on a new layer and we'll just call this blend blend layer and now we can use the morph brush and intensity well, we're going to use three very very low intensity and what you can do now is you can go in and you can blend or mix using the um, the morph brush and just pull some of that older sort of skin detail back in there yeah so we can get a slightly different looking looking skin we can change this area here to a slightly different skin type maybe have a look at changing under the eyes a bit Get rid of those wrinkles, even though this guy was older, he had less wrinkles. And again, you know, we can go in and sort of give him a bit more. And if you want, you know, you could change the lips. We'll just have a sort of 50% blend. Whatever looks good, really, but it's kind of like a you know, it's a very quick way of just breaking up the skin and not making it look as as uniform as it does, you know, just by using a single displacement map. And get some of the nice skin. It might be a bit easier to see if I use my nice satin shader.
And I mean, you can turn this intensity up a bit if you want a bit more. If you want to be a bit more heavy-handed with it, you know, and just sort of change. Let's give him some some more wrinkles down here on his nose. That chin a bit more, a bit more wrinkly. There we go. So now we've got like a nice sort of blend between the two, um, and that's yeah. It's just a very, very nice, quick way of generating unique sort of skin details, and you can do that with any of these. Um, skin texture so you know we've got that was that guy that we were using you know you could use a much younger person if you wanted you know you could use like um, I don't know you could even use a woman with nice sort of clear skin um, this one would give you you know much more much finer kind of like um, skin pores and details if you didn't want an older kind of look um, so yeah that's um, it's just a very fast way of blending details and you can do this with multiple levels you could import another another displacement map and blend that I mean let's just do that now I'll show you how to do that quickly so what we're going to do is just turn off recording on that level that layer turn off all the layers again make a new layer and we'll call, oh well, let's import displacement first so we know which one it is. Let's have a look at a much younger person. Let's try female 01. So we'll just go into the displacement and female 01 maps displacement. will load eventually and we'll flip that and then we'll just call this layer female zero one displacement select her displacement there we go so now we've immediately got another whole new set of details and pores and we'll just adjust that layer because that's a little bit strong, I think. So let's just make that 0 0.8 again, maybe. Yeah, that's better. And we will store that as the morph target then. Disable that layer. Re enable our base layer and our blend layer. And just hit record on our blend layer. Now we can use our morph target to change some of the details to the, the female map. And again, you can give him a much, much younger look using these details because there's less, you know, bubbly skin and old wrinkles and things like that. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you use male or female on either. Um, it depends the the look that you're going for, really. And skin is generally the same. So yeah, that's it really. I hope that was useful. Um, again, any questions, just let me know in the comments on Facebook or via email.